Hey guys, in this video I want to discuss microstructure and how you can start reading a one minute, two minute, three minute uh, candlestick chart uh, using the closes of the candles um, and a little bit of the wicks. But I want to show you some examples of how you can start reading microstructure which should give you um, a better understanding of how price is operating in when it's operating in uh, ranges. So let's go to yesterday's um, London cash session. So from 0300, this is the cash session. Let's do 0300 to 0500. So we're on the one minute chart. You want to analyze where the candles are closing. Okay, so and then make your est best estimation based off that. So we get started. Notice the close here. All right. Buy side inefficiency right there. You see that busy. We respect that. We move higher. Notice that above we had these two relative equal highs and a high here. So what is above there? Short term buy stops. What does the market do? It attacks stops. It attacks liquidity. So what did the market do? It ran up into that liquidity. Next candle, down close candle, and it closed below. Betsy, that's below the 50 percent. Six. 826.75 and that candle closed at 825.50 so we get the very next candle closes below the 50 percent of that prior candle which is a sign that after you've run into stops um, maybe the market wants to come back down again third candle notice we're closing right at the midpoint of the large green candle which would mean what meaning that uh, it's probably going to shoot back lower then third candle Candle comes down, we close below, and we're closing near the low of that large green candle. Now we can take a standard deviation projection of the green candle, and if once we start trading below it, we're probably going one standard deviation of that large range candle, the green candle, lower, which is what we do. And this is kind of like Al Brooks kind of stuff, uh, and I understand that, but he does have some good points. So, anyways. Uh, candle, 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 candle. Now notice this black one right here. What is that telling you? That is a bullish order block. Why? Well, when you cr cross this above there, that was an algorithmic signature, an algorithmic pivot point or shift in market structure. But notice that you noticed when, the, when it closed, where is it closing? It's closing in that large black candle. So where, if the market is finding support there, where is it probably going? More buy stops. That's what, exactly what it does. We go on, we go on. Now look at this. What was that? That was a quick sweep into liquidity before a shot lower. How could you have caught on that shot lower? Well, as soon as the market trades below the open of that candle, we know we're probably shooting lower. Where are we going? Volume imbalance right here. Now, these three candles right here. One, two, three. Low, lower low, higher low. That's a three candle swing. Notice the close of this candle is above the high of that candle and that black candle dug back into that black candle over there meaning it's an order block okay so where's the market if it if it finds support right there on that prior black candle where's it going buy stops so the market shoots higher and attacks that buy side liquidity so every time someone had been going short trading algorithms human beings whatever every time that that they thought that the market was going to turn lower where'd the stop go went up here so what did the market do ran against it okay could go on I mean this is this is how it works guys it's very it's very minute like this we trade higher we trade higher we trade higher now notice where does the market where do you think it's going to get a shot lower right there that's right when the market trades after making a few consecutive highs trades below the open of that green candle we're probably getting a shot lower let's see if that was one standard deviation of that candle yes it was so 1831.25 you see the mathematics in the marketplace the ratios that are that are at play which should give you confidence that the market is indeed quite automated. What is this? Buy set imbalance, sell set inefficiency. Notice the close of the candle, closing in a discount, but not closing below. So where's it going? Going back for more buy stops, guys. And notice that over time, the, the artificial intelligence, the, the trading algorithms that be, they are beating up the buy side. Every time you want to go short, they're beating you up. They're just running you again and again. Okay, That's what they do. They grind you down. So that by the time that the market does make a 20-point shot lower, you're already long scared, long gone, 
all of your Bollinger Bands, everything you were looking at, uh, failed you. Because that's what the market does. It, it runs against liquidity, and it knows where your liquidity is. Yes, it knows where your stop, I mean, not where your individual stop is, but in general, it knows where the, the liquidity is, and it runs against it. Okay, so how, do we, how could we tell that the market was going to turn there? Well, as soon as the market trades below the open of that large green range candle, you have a good idea we're probably going lower. But even before that, right, notice we have high, higher high, lower high. That's a three candle swing. That's the first thing. Notice the close of that green candle right there. Notice that it's right at the prior high. It's, it's trading below that black candle's midpoint. So decent idea there, but definitely once it shoots lower. After that, what does that green candle become? Order block. And then we shoot lower. Okay? We shoot lower. Where do we go? Well, notice the closes of the candle, of the candles. What is the next thing the market does? Before it makes its move lower, it runs the short-term buy stops that were here. Just, just pops right above them. So as people are trailing their stops down, what does the market do? Runs against them. Very quickly, like within a three-minute time frame, so plenty of people that are trading retail systems could have seen that the market was going down. They don't anticipate that. What is that? A short-term pop into short-term buy stops. They're keeping you honest. You had to keep your stop up here to be on the good run lower. You couldn't trail your stop down at that point. The market was still willing to run against that. Now, when do we know that the market is probably going to make a shot lower? As soon as it trades below that green candle right there, that becomes a bearish order block. Notice now all the equal lows, all the lows. So all the people that had been uh, buying and trailing their stop on the way up, what does the market do? One quick violent motion runs against it. As the market trails down, look, the green candles are resisting price on the way down. So, guys, a lot goes into this. Um, and I just wanted to give you a quick example of what analyzing microstructure looks like and Yes, it does run against stops, guys. It makes pops against stops, so it will keep you honest, so to speak. Either you have to be following every minute detail or you have to keep your stop where it was. You know, it will do that, guys. So the idea that the market does not run against stops is kind of stupid. Yeah, it's, it's attracted to liquidity, guys. It, it's obviously doing that. So anyways, wanted to give you a quick uh, video on what uh, analyzing microstructure candle by candle looks like. So... I hope that gives you an idea. If you want more examples of microstructure, uh, you know, actually make a comment. Most people don't comment on my videos. If you're interested in microstructure, uh, give me a shout. Bye.